Welcome back and uh, this week we are looking at the year 2015 and as you will have seen from those headlines we've got some great stories to tell you about. But before going into that I'd just like to thank you all for your comments uh, that came in on the last video, uh, whether they be the comments on the YouTube channel or whether they be text or email. I love to get your comments and this week I had some great ones. They ranged from fantastic, brilliant, great and that was just the ones about my legs. I also had a comment uh, that I should be appearing in a spaghetti western uh, with the beard I was sporting last week. He suggested I should be in the good, the bad and the ugly. But no such problems this week. I've had a shave for you. One thing I did expect to get comments on last time was my glasses. You clearly weren't paying attention because I noticed, because I was sporting three different pairs of glasses throughout that video. If you did notice, nobody mentioned it. So much for deliberate continuity errors. In 2015, my dear wife Louisa was the president and such a, since it was such a great year and she made a, such a great success of it, I asked her what was the secret of that success? The secret of my success? Well, don't do any of the work. You're the president, you're overseeing things, so you don't need to do the actual work. Then if things go well, you can take all the credit. And if they go badly, well, it's everybody else's fault. What else? You need to practice your smile because you're going to have to cut a lot of cakes and photos will be taken of you cutting these cakes so you want to look good, don't you? I think that's it. Well, there you go. Now you know what it takes to be president. Apart from the comments about the cake cutting, some of that mantra reminded me of another president, uh, but I won't go there. Before I get going as well, I'd also like to apologise because uh, my usually uh, excellent photo organisation seems to have uh, fallen down a little bit in 2015. My system for cataloguing and archiving the photos, uh, which is, is excellent, but for some reason I lost some photos. Where I have lost photos, I've resorted to pictures from the newspapers. Yeah, okay, I screwed up and I apologise for it. If things had gone as normal this year, we'd be doing the club clean-up Saturday this coming, this coming weekend. But of course things aren't normal. Anyway, I thought I'd start off this video with some pictures from the 2015 clean-up day. weekend was our club opening day and Louisa decided to revive the tradition of inviting the Mayor of Coburg to come and address the members and roll the opening bowl and that's what Mayor Gil Brockenier did. As you will see from the photos it was a brilliantly sunny day which made a change from the previous years and we had 42 members out that afternoon for the first club jitney of the season. The Victoria Day weekend we held an open house on the Saturday and again we were blessed with good weather. We actually had 27 people through the gates to find out about our club. As we said in the headlines, we had 21 new members that year, which was really great, our best figure for years. Not all of them were new bowlers, some, some were experienced bowlers who came from other clubs, for example Janet Taylor came from BC and Pat Gemmell and Pauline Hill joined when Maydock closed. A number of people that you see around the club these days also joined in 2015 and here's a list of those people. As well as being a member at Coburg, Morton Foxhall has also been a member of Stouffville and other clubs for a number of years. This has enabled him to bowl with the same team in the Ontario Fours each year and in 2015 in the uh, Ontario Championships in, Won in Windsor they took the gold medal and that qualified them for the Canadian Nationals which that year were held in Willowdale. They played nine round robin games in the championships and finished with a record of 6-2-1. and one. That didn't get them into the gold medal match but it did get them into the bronze medal match where they had an epic game against the BC team. After nine ends they were losing 14-2 
but they tied it in the final end and the game went to an extra end. Unfortunately, they lost out in the extra end and didn't get a medal, but they played some wonderful bowls during that period and I was privileged to be able to go and watch them play one day. I should also mention the ladies fours. Uh, three Coburg ladies, Kathleen Shirley, Pat Gemmel and Pauline Hill played with Nikki Chamois of the Oshawa Club and they played at Windsor in the Ontario Championships. In a double knockout they won the first two games but they lost the third which dropped them into the B group. They won the first game in the B group but lost the next game to the eventual silver winners and finished just outside the medals. But again, another great performance from a Coburg team. And now it's time for a roundup of the 2015 tournaments. Bob Bates, who was still at Cosburn Park in those days, brought down a team for the Open Fours on Victoria Day and only had the cheek to go and darn well win it. Sorry about the photo, Bob. In a mixed pairs open tournament, we had Roy Thornycroft and Eve Gorringe taking the trophy. And on the Labour Day 242, we had win, a win for Ben Van Stein and Marilyn McMillan. Moving on to club tournaments, the Coaches Cup that year was won by Sarah Van Stein, Jeff Montgomery, and Joe Carlton. And Joe featured again in a win for Carol Dewey's team in the Spectacular Water Systems tournament. The full team was June Bowman, Carol and Joe. The Cutthroat tournament that year was won by David uh, Brister and here he is being presented with the trophy by Pauline Hill and Pat Gemmell. The windmill tournament winners were Bob Tuff, Diane Lauder and Barbara Covert. And now we move on to Canada Day. The president forgot to mention that one of her duties was flag raising as well as the cake cutting. Check out the smile. And after the festivities, there was actually some bowling. And the winners of the Canada Day tournament that year were Dave Carlton, Pat Anderson, and Arnold Bowman. And soon we were into the anniversary tournament, and Bob Tuff and Barbara Covert were in the money again. And appropriately, our president, Louisa, was also a winner. The novices tournament that year was won by Ken Bevan, Emily Smith and Ben Van Stein, so Ken picked up a trophy in his very first year. And who's that fine looking fellow with those two lovely ladies? Thelma Eastcott and Shirley Van Der Schaaf. And in the annual tournament against Wilmot Creek, we retained our trophy. And a quick apology here to Norma and Ralph Stoffers who won the singles. I haven't got a photograph. So let's look at the juniors now. In 2015, the Ontario Under-18 Championships were held in Lindsay, and Ben Van Stein and Bailey Van Stein were both playing. In his very first match, Ben had to play Owen Kirby, one of the favourites, and Owen won that game narrowly. But then Ben went on a three-game three game winning run, and that got him into the final, and he had to play Owen again. But this time he had no problem, and beat Owen soundly by 21 points to 11, to win the gold medal. Bailey was also playing as I say and she had three easy wins on day one and that got her into the semi-finals which she won easily as well. Unfortunately in the final she lost out to Chris Burke of Lindsay but again she put up a great performance and both Ben and Bailey by virtue of the performances in Lindsay qualified for the Canadian under 18 championships in Saskatoon. It was quite the achievement for them both to get to uh, the Nationals in Saskatoon. So we made some, uh, the most of it and got some publicity for them and invited Chex TV to come down and do an article. When they got to Saskatoon, uh, Ben, they both played uh, round robin games and Ben finished with a five and four record in the round robins and just missed out on the medal round. Bailey finished two and three and made it to the bronze medal game, but unfortunately didn't, uh, didn't win that, but did enough to qualify for the Canadian Youth Development Squad that year. I hope you'll agree that that was a really great year. Some fine performances from our bowlers, lots of fun of us, as always, and of course the success was all down to one person at the end of the day, our President Louisa. Now before I go, I've just got a few uh, items to update you on. Um, we started working on the greens last week and uh, crews have been doing them. 
Um, I think Monday, Wednesday and certainly Friday because I was involved on Friday. Uh, we've been following all the guidelines for social distancing. In addition to the Greens, um, Bob Bates and Mike Place have been clearing up leaves around the place and uh, Donna Longman and Fran Marsh and Dale McMillan have been looking after the ditches. So everything's looking good at the moment, it's just a pity we can't get out on the greens and bowl. And I'd like to just uh, tell you about some news from the Ontario Lawn Bowls Association. Um, all the age limits for this year have been moved back a year, so that means if 2020 would have been your last year as a novice because your five years were up, you will actually still be able to play as a novice in 2021. They've extended it by, by a year. And the same applies with the limits for youth players. Also, Peterborough Club was due to hold the National uh, Youth Championships this year. And I'm pleased to say that they will hold them now in 2021. So they won't miss out on that. And finally, uh, if you want to keep up to date with news from the Ontario Long Bowls Association and from Bowls Canada, they issue regular email uh, newsletters and if you want to sign up for, an ish for, for those letters, uh, you can do so. I will put the links in the comments section on the YouTube page and you can sign up for those if you wish. So that's just about it for, for 2015. Uh, I'll be back again soon. Uh, but I'd just like to leave you with news of uh, one visitor we've had to the club. Despite all the rules and despite the fact the club's closed, uh, this visitor just ignored everything and took advantage of some sunny weather recently. So, as always, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you again soon.